Today we saw sin on him. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now, back when we were kids, if you went to a place like McDonald's and you wanted to, you know, mix it up a little bit with your nugs, you might be able to get barbecue sauce. You might be able to get some special sauce on your Big Mac. But I mean, I still remember the day when they introduced sweet and sour sauce and I was, my mind was absolutely blown. But besides that, if you wanted something more experimental, you were SOL, sauce out of luck. Uh, okay, but today, we're living in a fast food sauce sauce I mean, <laughs> hey. it's an enlightenment of all types of sauces all over the place, and not just dipping sauces, I'm talking about on the sandwich sauces too. Mm -hmm. So, what we've done is, we have gathered the best signature fast food sauces out there, and today, actually, over the next three days, mm -hmm. we're gonna determine the best of the best by category. Introducing the first ever three day premier bracket competition to name the best fast food sauce your local delivery window offers. A daring delight of squeezable spreads, a titillating tussle of tangy toppings, a fiery fight of finishing flavors. It's time for fast food sauce down, burger sauces! Woo, I'm lightheaded. When we say signature fast food sauce, we're not talking about just the basic sauces that everybody has. We're definitely not talking about ketchup, come on. We're talking about <laughs> unique sauces with original recipes and you, you know, they're highlighted, they're promoted on, by these fast food restaurant menus and today we're doing burger sauces but hey, we, like Link said, this is three days. Tomorrow we're doing chicken sauces and then Wednesday we're doing fry sauces. Yeah. And so to kick things off, uh, we wanna thank you for helping determine the contestants for today and every single day. We posted and you voted on your favorites, in fact, 33,000 votes, Whoa. which determined which sauces were eliminated from the competition before it even started and which ones made our bracket. So, our contenders today are McDonald's Big Mac Special Sauce. Jack in the Box, Jack's Secret Sauce. Wendy's Side of Sawsome Sauce. Shake Shack Shack Sauce. Arby's Arby Sauce. Arby's Horsey Sauce. In and Out Spread. What a Burger Creamy Pepper Sauce. Rounding out the brackets. In the end, the sauce left standing will be the undisputed ultimate goop to squirt on your meat. <laughs> So we got McDonald's Big Mac sauce in the number one seed versus Jack in the Box Jack's Secret Sauce over here. And you may notice that these are control burgers. That's right, since we're focusing on sauce, we just are gonna eat all of them on plain old burger. Well, I don't want- Directly from IHOP. I don't wanna diss IHOP, I'm just saying they're all the same. All right, so let's, let's start. start with, this is an old standby. Nothing so but familiar. a burger and the sauce. Been around since 1967. Dink it and sink it right in the Oh, middle. 1968. Now the official recipe is a guarded secret, but we know it's got mayo, sweet pickle relish, yellow mustard, white wine vinegar, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. Ooh. Okay, you taking a second bite. Well, because I like it Pace so yourself, all right, and let's move on over here to the Jack in the Box underdog. It's a red sauce. Looking at this, I would've just told you this is like a weird type of marinara. I couldn't have told you what we this looked like. We have a long list of ingredients. But interestingly enough, it includes less than 2% of A1 steak sauce, Tabasco sauce, and Worcestershire sauce. All registered trademarks. It's like a sauce you make at your own house with just other stuff. Pretty subtle. Sweet, tangy. It's not a bad sauce, but there's something superb about the Big Mac sauce. Because you've got that mayonnaise base, I think you need that creaminess on a burger. Jack in the Box secret sauce, we gotta give it the patented sauce toss. I'll do the honors this time. Yeah, no look. Oh, you know what, you were online. Did I come you, up short? You did. And Big Mac sauce, moves on. Next we have Wendy's side of sawsome sauce versus Shake Shack Shack sauce. Now this sauce was first offered alongside the chicken tenders at Wendy's, and then they decided to start putting it on the Sawsome Bacon Classic Burger as a limited menu item. It tastes like Catalina salad dressing to me. Hmm, yeah. yeah. Ooh, it's better on the burger than just tasting it alone. That's not a bad sauce, but yeah, shake. Yeah, that's surprising. Shake, shack, shack sauce, which is hard to say because I want to say shake, shack, shack sauce. It's very reminiscent of the Big Mac sauce in color. It's taking its cues from Big but Mac. But it doesn't have the, uh, the pickles, it's got a pinch of cayenne pepper in it. It has a Dijon mustard in it that you can taste. 
mm. that mm. gives it a little bit of a twist. This Catalina ripoff starts to compete too much. It doesn't prop up the burger, and I, I really like that. I can tell this is made for fries and then somebody got cute. That's just what I'm saying, man. This is not easy for me. Uh, definitely yeah. not easy. This does feel like it should be married to something else. Other Maybe than salad. You wanna give it to sauce toss? I'm fine with uh, moving the shack sauce. All right, the no look. Oh, you were a little short as well. Okay. Shake shack sauce moves on. Shake shack sauce. If you're curious about the Mythical Society, well, you can check it out for free as an initiate, but you can also check out the free app that is available in the iOS and Google Play Store. Download it over there to learn all about what's happening in the Mythical Society. Yeah, check it out. Okay, this is the match of the big hat. Uh, Arby's does not serve burgers at all, so at least it's a civil war of but beef between buns. Beef between buns. And they put some sauce on that stuff. Arby sauce versus horsey sauce. Maybe maybe we'll discover something here that it should be that on Arby's a burger. Arby's should add one more thing to their menu and it should be a burger? That is odd. That makes me stink that you haven't had it before. Makes you stink? <laughs> You're not an Arby's guy, I know that. It's um, it's very vinegary. It's kind you don't of, like roast beef. It's watery. You're scared of roast beef, you told me this one time. I got sick when I ate a roast beef sandwich at Hardee's when I was a kid and it's been ingrained ever since. Yeah. This is a, this may be a new way for me to get back into it. Now this put has it on got a burger. horseradish in it. Woo! And not just a little. It's got a wasabi type um, sensation. You know, as that is, I, that's, I'm, a, that's I'm a big fan of a lot of things, you know that. There's not many things I don't like. Horseradish, I, I understand why some people love it, but I just have never really been able to wrap my mouth, my mouth around it. My <laughs> mouth, my mouth. I can't get my mouth around it because my mouth too small. But you are gonna take another bite because you're wrecked. Mm -hmm. You're gonna give it all the chance you can. Can we just get rid of all the Arby's options? Well, that kind of throws off the whole tournament nature of this, but sure, screw it, let's do it. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, let's do it. So, I, want so Arby, I want Arby sauce to go forward. I like it better than the horsey sauce. Oh! So close. Closest yet. RB sauce moves on. Okay, now we got In-N-Out spread versus Whataburger creamy pepper sauce. This is a good matchup. Can you believe these two came together? Yeah, this is just happenstance that we got the two seed and the four seed. You got the, you got the California Regional. favorite, you got the Texas favorite. Oh, seven seed over here. Uh, we've talked so much trash about Whataburger throughout the years. In and out spread starts on the burger, but then you can also get it on fries. God, it's so unchanged good. since 1948. I'm not just saying that because I live in California. You just licked it and some went on your crotch. Yeah, it did. And the... Don't be, hey, no shame in that. No hey. shame on getting a little sauce on your crotch. It tastes good off the crotch. This sauce is sort of just sort of splatting just on top there. It's very watery, but it must be good because they freaking sell it on its own. Oh. There's not many people who do that. It just leaked onto my ankle. I mean, yeah, this is this stuff is runny. Make it thicker, y'all. Put some xanthan gum in there. Mm. Oh, it's got a kick I like, though. Wow. Mm. Mm. Man. I like the taste. I hate the consistency. What is this? There's some vinegar in there. There's some lemon juice, buttermilk powder, chipotle peppers, and garlic. There's I'm... a reason that this is being sold on its own, because it's it's pretty magical. It's not mag it's magical enough to get to get, get it on yourself when you're trying to eat it. I don't like that. Well, it's child proof. Um, I'm voting for the Whataburger sauce even though I am I'm on record against Whataburger and I ain't changing that. I don't understand why you think it's that great. I'm sorry. Well, you know what? I'm you not sorry. You think it's great enough to vote for though. I am voting for the sauce. I am voting for this what, sauce. Okay. So that means we got to bring out the patty. What are we calling this? So this is a burger slap. You each have a patty. Okay. And who, whichever man. Let me see your, oh, you, like that. Yeah, you just, you slap each other with a high five, right? And then whoever's got more meat left is the winner. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Well, that's not gonna work. Three, two, one. All right, so now. Oh, 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 no, no, your shoulder gonna, burger counts? The shoulder burger counts. Well, I think that's my burger on your shoulder, so I don't know. The shoulder counts. burger count, judges? No, no it doesn't, no. only this, so hold this out. That's yours on top of mine. 
<laughs> there, hold on. There, that's, a, that's the same amount of meat, man, because mine goes longer that way, and then yours goes longer that way. But then mine's stuck to your shoulder. This isn't your burger, that's my burger. It's my shoulder, I know that at least. All right, let's slap again. Three, two, one. All right, so here's mine. <laughs> okay, I think you won that one. What a burger moves on and give that in and out a sauce toss. We got burger everywhere. I listen, this pains me to get rid of in and out sauce. We got our first semifinal match. We got the Big Mac sauce and then the Shake Shack sauce. A lot of pickles in this Big Mac sauce. It's Re still good. It really gives it a pickly punch. It's still good. Which is nice. No discernible pickles here on the Shake Shack Shack sauce. They got some of that Dijon mustard. There's a kosher dill pickling brine in this. Shake Shack is my favorite burger. And my favorite burger at Shake Shack is the Smoke Stack. Mm -hmm. Might be the Smoke Shack. Smoke Shack. It has a sauce on it and I absolutely love it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go just sauce on the finger, <laughs> sauce on the finger. I mean, they're the exact same color profile. So pickle forward on the Big Mac. Shake Shack is thicker, and it's it's the same except for it has the a little Dijon. more has a little more Dijonish, and that has a little more pickly. <laughs> and I like pickles more than Dijon. And I like I like the. Um, You what are those it. things, guys? You can do it. The pickle bumps. Relish. I like the pickle bumps. So we're gonna toss. I, I'm having so many brain farts <laughs> yeah, right yeah, now. What is this? It's like I, can't I can't talk anymore. I can hear the gears turning. Stopping. Shake Shack Shack sauce is getting the shack toss. <laughs> oh, that was a little short. You I was gonna hit catch it. With it. Now we've got Arby's Arby's sauce versus Whataburger creamy pepper sauce. And the Arby sauce gets the sauce toss and the Whataburger <laughs> creamy pepper sauce moves on. So right now, it's final time and the underdog, the Cinderella story, the seventh seed Whataburger creamy pepper sauce is facing off against the number one Big Mac special sauce complete with the pickle bumps. I don't even, I, I don't have to taste this again right now because I know how much I love it. I just gotta have an ankle-free experience with the Whataburger sauce. I mean, look at that. I'm gonna have to hold it out See, over look here. It, immediately dripping, but when you taste it. It, it grabs your tongue and it won't let go. But it's just, it's a gentle grab. I like the flavor. Now, I you, like you, the kick. You I, like a kick. I like the kick, but I don't like runniness, man. It, it really is, as a texture man, I would think that yeah. you would have some appreciation for my texture problems. Are we going with sweet and pickly, or are we going with spicy and runny? Runny, not a great descriptor. I don't know, Whataburger really has surprised us. I'm gonna have to leave this up to you, man, because I just don't think that you can do better than the Big Mac special sauce. I think they got it right. I just think it can't be overdone. Overdone, <laughs> outdone. Well, I'm honored to find myself in this position and I don't take the decision lightly. Whataburger, creamy pepper. You're runny, baby. You get the sauce toss. Make it thicker. Oh, we get didn't it. get one yeah. in there. But what we can do. Do, 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 ah, you won. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Mac special sauce that is totally secret and fun with pickle bumps wins best sauce for burgers. There no regrets. Go. All right, come back tomorrow. We're gonna find the best chicken dipping sauce. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that. Bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Stuti from Montreal, Canada, and I just celebrated my birthday by donating to Action Against Hunger and participating in Gifticality. And now it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. All right, thank you for being your mythical best. Click the top link to watch us open and review ridiculous fast food merch and go mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Are you a member of the Mythical Society? Want an even easier way to dig into content like Behind the Mythicality and Retin Link React? Well, download the new free mobile app now in the Apple and Google Play stores.